Florida. Don't get mad at me, because you started it. I know it. I want you to keep putting me down. Huh? Look, I can't get nowhere with this Mr. Hendrix, but I want to keep him here. All he seems to like is the way you keep mouthing at me. Huh? Look, stop hawing and listen. <laughs> now, when he gets off the phone, service our drinks and then keep insulting me, okay? Wait a minute. Am I hearing this right? You want me to insult you? Yeah. I'll give you 20 bucks if you do a good job. 20 bucks? Right. Look, Mr. Jefferson, keep your 20 bucks. This one's on me. <laughs> well, we're moving on now. Oh, thank you. Florence, now you know I like my scotch on the rocks. Then why don't you pour it over your head? <laughs> Ain't she got a big sense of humor? <laughs> Anything's big to you. He's so short, he had to stand on his toes to put his hat on. <laughs> Because you can't find one big enough to fit your fat head. <laughs> and ugly. Child, Mr. Jefferson is so ugly that when he used to work in a bakery, they used to dip his face in the batter to make the animal cookies. <laughs> Way I figured out. Like, there's enough dirt in this town for the two of us. <laughs> we want to buy you out. So, you clean the dirt on your side. Say what? <laughs> We're prepared to make you a generous offer. Buy me out? <laughs> I should be buying you out. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, we have 39 stores. You have seven. <laughs> so, what's your point? We're bigger than you are. <laughs> now, I've uh, taken the liberty of drawing up some figures. I, uh, I believe these are your assets. <laughs> That's right. And uh, these are ours. <laughs> Again, what's your point? We're much bigger than you are. And I might add, we are completely computerized. <laughs> Big deal. Look. Jefferson Cleaners only needs one computer. <laughs> Can your computer uh, process five million bits of information in 4.2 milliseconds? <laughs> the joke's on you. We don't have five million bits of information. <laughs> marvelous news. I've got marvelous news. I'll take any part of it. Uh, Mr. Uku, my friend from the Liberian delegation, was at the cocktail party, and I happened to mention your ancestral background. Who asked you to? Wait. <laughs> According to what he said, if you come from the Dagomba branch of the Ashantis, you come from kings. Say what? Kings. You jogged me. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Am I? No, no. Uh, Dr. Uku is an authority, and according to him, you are descended from African royalty. Royalty? <laughs> oh, but that doesn't mean anything to George, Mr. Bentley. You see, he doesn't care about his ancestors. Isn't that right, George? King George. <laughs> oh, 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 my soul, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Oh, uh, he owns this, uh, uh, rubble. <laughs> name, sir? Can't you read it's written right on the door? It's gone. <laughs> there, sir. Uh, would you mind? <laughs> there, there, George. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be checking the damage outside. Everything is ruined, Willis. There's nothing left. Now, don't be so hasty, George. There must be something you can salvage. Uh, um, oh, look! This piece of bronze sculpture is still intact. <laughs> That's not a piece of sculpture. That was my cash register. Well, I never claimed to know much about art. I just know what I like. <laughs> All expensive stuff is in the back. The big machinery and everything. Maybe some of that is still open. Ha, ha, ha.
your own phone calls. Uh, phone! Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is me. Who are you? Uh, this is the guy I get calling this time of night. Say what? It is? All right, yeah! Hey, thanks for calling. Bye. Woo! <laughs> George, what's the matter? Raining in Peoria. Ha! What? <laughs> rain in the Peoria, let it rain. Let it rain. <laughs> What's the rain? has gotten into you? Doing a rain dance. <laughs> Have you gone nuts? No, beans, Weezy. Beans. <laughs> ha! Huh? I invested in some beans last week. I bought 40,000 bushel. And it looks like it's gonna be a flood in Peoria, and that should wipe out the whole crop. That's awful. But what are you so happy about? Cause if that bean crop out there gets wiped out, the price of my beans goes up. Where are your beans? I don't know where my beans are. <laughs> Do you know where your marbles are? Got a problem? No, but it sure looks like you do. <laughs> what is it, fleas? I'm shadow boxing. Well, give me five bucks on the shadow. Got stores all over the city. 20. No, nope, only seven, but I'm planning to open some more. <laughs> oh, no, no, Jefferson, I was counting my exercises. Hey! Look out, look out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if it wasn't for you, I'd have dropped my drawers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Linda. What'd you say? I said it's great music. What you turn it off for? Are you sure I'm in a good mood, baby pop? What's happening? Nothing's happening. I'm just enjoying life lately. Oh, yeah, well, it is kind of nice around here, ain't it? Kind of nice? This is it! The cream, the top. And I finally got your mother acting like a new woman. I got her eating out of the palm of my hand. <laughs> yeah, I know so. How'd you do that, Pa? Well, it's the old George Jefferson method of woman handling. Oh. <laughs> Took me years to figure out. Yeah, well, you, 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 you want to turn me on to it, Pa? Sure, look. If you want a woman eating out of the palm of your hand, all you got to do is give her freedom, a swinging apartment, and all the money she can spend. Ah. <laughs> but what if you ain't got no money? Well, then this comes a lot harder. See, then you gotta give a lot of love and affection. I think I'm gonna go upstairs and try out your sister on Jenny. Jenny again? Oh, well, don't worry. I ain't gonna spend no money on her. See, I'm just gonna try out the love and affection part. <laughs> Willis, you make me sick. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be on this elevator. If you were any kind of man, you'd get off and let the record go to the right champion. Now, hold it, George. I've spent as much time on this elevator as you have. And took up four times the space. <laughs> what are you doing that for? What are you doing that for? Don't mimic me, Willis. Don't mimic me, Willis. <laughs> I'm warning you, Willis. I'm warning you, Willis. <laughs> All right, Willis, you asked for it. All right, Willis, it. you asked for it. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Now, don't mimic me. That's not what I was doing. I want to know what that was. It seemed like a power failure. A power failure? Oh, my God. Oh, we're trapped in here like two mice, Willis. <laughs> the walls are closing in on us. The air's getting thinner. 
I can't catch my breath. <laughs> I can't either. I'm scared. No, don't be scared. Somebody will find us. Yeah. Oh, unless they think we're trying to set another record or something. Yeah, they would think that, wouldn't they? And then no one would come. Oh, yeah. They'll come, but all they'll find would be two shriveled, decomposing bodies. <gasps> Champion George Jefferson! <laughs> I win out hey. just one darn second. George, you... The, the lights are still on. There was no power failure. <laughs> you tricked me. No, you tricked yourself. How? By being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'll take my victory lap. And up I go! Tom, this is Harry's birthday. So why don't we quit worrying about my purse and, um, hey, play something. Let's dance. Ah, splendid idea. May I? Yeah. Come on, everybody dance. Well, what do you say? I say yes. <laughs> George, are you gonna just sit there and let your mother be a wallflower? <laughs> Partners. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess that leaves you and me. Yeah, it's been a bad night all around, ain't it? <laughs> well, don't just stand there, shorty. Get down. <laughs>